Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So a little bit ago, I posted a video doing acrylic pouring on holiday ornaments, and quite a few people didn't watch until the end of the video. So I'd just like to point out that there's a canvas underneath those funnels. Here's what it looks like. And that caught most of the runoff paint. Now there was a little bit that was also left on the funnels. So I let that dry, and then I peeled that off, as you can see here. Um, I didn't get it all off in one piece unfortunately but i got some good pieces now uh, around the same time i also did some blue ornaments so here's me peeling the skins off from those and then i used some diamond glaze to glue the glass pieces on and i made these skins into necklaces there's quite a few other things you can do with it. You can make them into bookmarks, um, wine glass charms. You can glue the pieces onto something else. You could put it in a mold with some resin, etc. Now, as a note, with this diamond glaze, I do recommend that once you put it on your skin, that you hold it down for a little while until it is at least partially dry so that you can get all air bubbles out and you don't have any of that, any pieces where it's not fully sticking to the glass let that dry for at least a day and then just cut off your glass pieces from the skin and voila it's ready to go into the trays for the necklaces and you can even keep this part that you are cutting off and use that in other projects and some of these skins still have room on them to glue another glass piece on or do something else with so feel free to use as much of that skin as you would like. Don't worry about cutting it out perfectly. Um, any imperfections on the side should be hidden by the tray. So once you've got your pieces cut out, use a little bit of the diamond glaze in the tray and then put the glass in there how you would like it. Um, you have a little bit of wiggle room here, so make sure it is placed where you like before fully pushing it in and then just set it aside to dry. Um, push it down as much as you can. If there's any excess glue, you can squeeze that out around the sides and wipe it off. It is water-based, so don't worry if it gets onto the top of the glass, it's pretty easy to wash off. Now at this point, you can add a chain or a cord, as I'm doing here, or whatever you would like, but then I do recommend letting it dry for at least 24 hours before actually wearing them. So here they are complete. Once again, there's a lot of other projects you can do with these skins. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you all next time.